Uh, we got another question here. It says, we just saw you and Larry show those tag team titles on the screen there. Nick Lenz wants to know what you thought about the look and style of those tag team championship belts. Uh, you know, we did. I don't think we would have. It would have fit as well if it was something really gaudy. You know, we don't need belts that span. We don't need them three feet wide, you know. <laughs> no spinner belt for you? <laughs> no, I mean, we don't need any of that stuff. You don't need them it, diamond encrusted and all that all that stuff. You just... Of the yeah. great tag teams before us that had held those belts, just, a, you know, a normal championship is just fine. Overkill, we don't, you know, we never were that fancy or gaudy or no feathers for me, no robes for me, just tights and boots and knee pads and a little tape on the wrist just for a mental edge, and I'm good That's to go. Right. Your lunch pail. Take your lunch pail to work, on a wrestler, and get it done. Okay. Uh, we have a couple other questions here about Bill Kazmaier, particularly. A wrestling historian on Instagram asked, who would Arn have chosen instead of Bill Kazmaier to replace Scott Steiner and partner with Rick? He added, Kazmaier was such a buzzkill for me as a Scott Steiner replacement. I mean, it was going to be almost impossible to replace a guy like Scott, but is there anybody else that you uh, might have thought about uh, replacing Scott with here? Only other thing I could think of off the top of my head is if you'd have put maybe Ron Simmons in that spot, and they would have, but they would have won. Yeah, you know they would have had to have won. That's such a rare thing to do, and because those guys have been in some wars with Doom and the Steiner brothers too, you know. Yeah, would have been a it would have been a, a good fitting replacement, you know, Ron yep. has not had similar a styles, run. suplexes, power moves, the whole nine year built. Yeah. Check, check on all that. All, all of it. Uh, Scott gold wants to know, was Kazmaier dangerous to work with in the ring? He didn't do a whole lot of work once he got in there because of the injury, but did you, uh, did you think he was dangerous at all? No, we held him to a minimum, you know, what we were going to put in a, in a position. I wouldn't have, <laughs> said, hey, you know, get a hold of a chair and hit me or nothing like that. You know, we, we did what we thought he could do safely. And he, Bill was a great guy, man. He was very cooperative with everything, gun ho about everything. He was a wrestling fan. And, you know, he, he, uh, he made fans out of us. He was a really good guy because, let's just face it, if he would have really went off of the deep end and, some tangent and didn't want to do something, he could have been very, very dangerous. And, and let's be honest, Arn, and that's the biggest thing. You just said he's a very good guy. That makes the difference in all the world. If, you, if you're an asshole, it's tr trying to work with someone that's an asshole, that's one thing. But if you're just a good, nice guy that's in there, hey, I'm trying to do my best. Tell me what I need to do, and I'm teachable, coachable. You're going to take that every single day of the week and, and, and help them out, and, and that'll be a pleasure to work with, right? Well, yeah, because, you know, the, the underlying elephant in the room is this guy's making a nice chunk. That's right. He's probably making a lot more than everybody else in that match combined. So, you know, Good that for come, him. which comes, you know, yeah, no, that, no shit. We're happy for him. So be happy for us and don't take any advantages or liberties. Just, hey, make it what it is. Be professional.